in there. <laughs> um, first thing was hopefully they win the D zone draw and then get the puck out. And then nothing comes at me, but yeah, uh, pretty special. Uh, it was uh, pretty nerve wracking, obviously, but something I'll remember. So. What was today like, start to finish? Kind of, you know, normal day. And then got the news that they need me and came and kind of just prepared like as normal as I could about a normal hockey game and um, just tried to soak it all in once I got here. So, yeah. You had a chance to check your phone since you got off the ice? Yeah, I just uh, took it off airplane mode and um, <laughs> scrolled down for a little while. And, uh, yeah, uh, obviously, probably would be a busy day on my phone tomorrow. So. Did you grow up a Leaf, did you grow up a Leaf fan? Uh, yeah, like I've always, you know, my dad's actually, it's funny, uh, half fan. Um, and yeah, them being in Toronto and, you know, just being in this market, obviously being a Leafs fan for kind of for a very long time and um, pretty, pretty special when you get to kind of put that jersey on and just be out there and, you know, sitting on the bench, just kind of taking it all in was uh Dream come true, honestly. Were you giving a heads up that you were going to come into the game in advance, or was it basically tap on the shoulder and as you go? No, I had no idea. Uh, yeah, it was just, what was it, a minute, 10 left? Yeah. And yeah, it was just jet, you're going in. And <laughs> took my hat off and hopped over the boards, and yeah, kind of just kind of black out, I guess. But uh, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, um, didn't really think too much about it. I didn't think that would, you know, be something that happened. But, uh, pretty cool way to end the game and you know something I can kind of have under my belt forever. Looks like you're going to be able to keep your sweater. Where do you think it might end up? Uh, probably framed. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Definitely uh, definitely keep it somewhere safe. Um, but I think uh, maybe my buddy Alex Bishop and I might have to get a picture with our jerseys and then maybe we'll both get them framed. So. Did you have a chance? Did he talk to you today at all about his experience? Like m minimally, no. Um, uh, right before I got here, kind of, you know, I texted him. I said, "Did you go out last?" And then that's the only thing I asked him. Just I didn't know. I don't want to mess up the whole pregame thing, but I didn't really know. Didn't get a chance to talk to him. Um, just with you know the way it all worked out, but uh, probably have a phone call with him tonight. Um, kind of pretty cool stuff, and we can share together uh so yeah um uh, i'll have to get him on the other end here soon but yeah you said it was nice that they won the t-zone draw but would have been nice to maybe face at least one shot um yeah from the blue line maybe with no traffic <laughs> uh just to get that you know get that one but uh there was like a turnaround kind of block shot kind of turned around and fired it and went wide but um it's kind of you know a little bit of butterflies there definitely but uh just you know whether you get a shot or not, whatever it is, it's you know 70 seconds on the ice. So um, it's a game played in the NHL. So pretty cool. What did your dad him? say when you told him? I don't even know if I talked to him uh, before the game. Um, obviously, just kind of last minute, like let them know they got here. Um, and then yeah, I was I'm sure they'll be waiting around somewhere. Um, and then it'll be pretty cool, pretty cool to be able to share that experience with them. Um, and, uh, crazy. Didn't think, you know, as a little kid, you, this is how you'd get to the NHL. But uh, nonetheless, you're here, so pretty cool. Are you open to continue your hockey career after uh, finishing up at the UFT and maybe playing pro elsewhere in Europe? Yeah, um, obviously, still love the game a lot, and would love to, you know, explore that opportunity. But I got one more year, and we'll see kind of where I am when I'm done my degree. And um, you know, it's. Weird. You're going to graduate at 24, 25, or whatever. So a little bit behind the curve. So we'll have to have to kind of play that by ear. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's something that I can do. What are you studying? I'm doing English and Earth and Environmental Science. So kind of two opposite ends of the, ends of the spectrum there, and uh, two things I really enjoy. So are your exams all done? Do you have any? Okay. Yeah, I got four more. Uh, <laughs> so. Maybe I'll start studying tomorrow. <laughs> Did you for a second there like you might be going in sooner? Like when Ilya was in a bit of discomfort there, what's going through your mind? Uh, the first thing I said was, oh no. Um, <laughs> and just kind of, yeah, I mean, 
obviously worrisome. Hopefully he's just okay is the first thing, too, that goes through your mind. Um, you know, team obviously, big part of the team. So, uh, yeah, kind of watched him, and he seemed to kind of be all right. And um, obviously played a really good game and didn't seem to really affect him down the stretch. So, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit nerve-wracking for a second there, but then he, he looked pretty normal. So.